Welcome to your student dashboard. Logging in with your student account will take you to this screen. This, along with the side menu on the left hand side here, are your two main points of navigation throughout the platform. You simply select the name of the screen that you wish to access in order to get to it by selecting from the side menu or by clicking one of the buttons at the top of the screen here. You can access the side menu from any screen on the platform and you can hide it by clicking this symbol in the top left hand corner. To get back to the dashboard from any screen, just click on the logo in the top left hand corner. To switch between your course dashboard and your virtual learning environment subject questions, select which screen you wish to view from the drop down menu here. Students can access all their homework from the course screen and the year four and year five content will not be available unless a subscription is purchased. However, some students may receive this as part of their course for revision to help target weak areas. Let's take a look at some of the features on our dashboard. On the left hand side, the course assignments column shows the most recent assignment for each course. If a student clicks on the subject, they will be taken to their course assignment screen where they can access the outstanding task to complete it. The course performance column shows the average scores of a student in each subject and how many late or overdue assignments a student has had each week. The most recent four weeks from the course are displayed on the dashboard, but students can view the data for every week by clicking view all. Students can also toggle between a table and graph format in order to view this information in their preferred way. Students can also toggle between the graph and the table on the student dashboard view. Over on the right hand side, a student's five most recent announcements are also displayed on the student dashboard. A student can access the content of the announcement by clicking on the title of it. It will display as a pop-up. If students do want to see older announcements or more than their most recent five, they can select the view all button where students will be taken to their My Announcements screen, which will display all of their previous announcements. At the bottom of the screen here, a student can see the house standings. This is the leaderboard showing which houses have the most house points, awarded based on performance. Students will be taken to the My House Points screen by clicking on their house name here, or their total number of house points. Finally, students can also view their five most recent action items on this screen. Action items refer to a to-do list that a parent can create for their child. The to-do list will be made up of topics or subtopics that parents have selected for students to revise and work on. The item column will list what the topic or subtopic is. The action column here can be clicked on and will take students to videos and tests for this topic or subtopic for students to watch, attempt or re-attempt in order to practice and improve in these areas. Students can change the status of this action item on this screen by selecting incomplete or complete to keep track of whether or not the action item has been addressed. By selecting the view all button, students can see the entire list of their action items, not just the first five. Students cannot add to their own to-do list. This is something that only parents can do from their own parent view screen.